So in this video, we are going to see how to create cookies, set cookies and uh, delete cookies. So how to access the cookies. So these things we are going to see in this. Before that, you should know what is cookie. Cookies are uh, very crucial information are the information which are needed by the websites. Okay. So for example, like username, password, all those things can be stored inside the client side itself. It will store in a temporary file called cookies uh, in the client side itself. So that whenever the user tries to go to the same website next time, those cookies will be used to reach the server and the server validate it and find that it is the same user who is coming. So internet is a, why this happened? Because internet is a stateless one. You cannot store it, the value in an internet somewhere. So uh, the web pages, they don't store the data. We, uh, users go to different web pages. The user, they, it don't, they don't store data. Instead, they store very uh, minimum information. So for, as I said, username, password, email ID, whatever it is, that will be stored. First time when the user logged in, those things will be sent, uh, remembered, and it will be stored inside the client side itself. So when the user try to attempt the same website next time, then all those data will be very sent to the server side and verified and automatically goes. You can see it in uh, Google, uh, that is Gmail. Suppose I want to personalize my Gmail. I want the background to be some blue color and uh, look of the things I want to change means. All those things information will be stored in my, uh, the color information, the background information, everything will be stored as cookies in my client, in my system. So whenever I go to the Gmail uh, from my system, those things will be, or uh, nowadays it will store in the browser itself. Okay, uh, in browser uh, itself, the cookies are stored so that whenever I log in any other system, okay, even in my system or I take in my college, another system, that my personalized uh, already what I have decided, the profile, it comes automatically. How it comes? Because the browser stores the information of uh, those cookies. Those will be those small, small information, we call it as cookies. <coughs> So when the user log in next time to the same page, uh, wait, let me increase the form. Okay, uh, same page, it is like entering the first time entry. Okay, when the user log in the first time. Okay, the web page is reinitialized and is displayed as new. But when the user moves from one page of a website to another page of the same website, it must remember who the user is. When it moves from one page, Suppose I have an IRCTC website. When I move from, uh, after login, I move from one page to another page. Then it has to remember me who I am. Or else each time the user has to log in. For each page, he has to log in. So, uh, so that can be done by sessions, another variable called session. But here, cookies, they will remember who the user is. When your page, for example, when your web page allows its user to customize his web page, to his taste, like changing the background color, font size, arranging the tools in a different way. It must remember all this. So that each time when a user log in, he must have modified the customized page. He should not redo it again and again each time. So these details are stored as cookies in user system. And whenever he log in to that particular site, it will be supplied to the server. And after user details are verified, the customized page will be displayed. So cookies are text files stored on the client computer and they are kept of use or tracking purpose. So PHP transparently supports HTTP cookies. There are mainly three steps in identifying the returning users. Server script sends a set of cookies to the browser. Okay, then for example, name, age or identification number, etc. Browser stores this information on local machine for future use. So whenever you log in, it, it will ask whether you want to save the password for this site like that. You should have observed that. So when next time browser sends any request to web server, then it sends these cookies information to the server and the server uses that information to identify the particular user. 
but that the same person is coming or different person is coming so now uh, with that introduction we will see how to set cookies read cookies and delete cookies in through the php script the php has a function called set cookie to set a cookie so what is a syntax it has set cookie open bracket close bracket within that we have six arguments the first two are mandatory the all the others are optional so for example name is the cookie name then value uh, here this value is nothing but uh, it is the value which you assign to that name so name is similar to a variable and value which you are so for example name then i give radha means for name i am assigning the value radha so like that so this set the name of the cookie and is stored in an environment variable called http cookie vars the uh, underscore vars using this also you can access the cookie so value this sets the value of the named variable and is the content that you actually want to store this is the content we want to store then expire till what time the cookie should live what is the Uh, what uh, what is the life of the cookie that we can decide so if we don't give any life then when you close the browser when the user closes the browser automatically the cookie expires so you can set the cookie uh, say for example i want the cookie to be available for 48 hours we can set for one year that also we can set so but this specify the directories for which the cookie is valid the single forward slash that a permits a cookie to be valid for all the directories okay domain this can be used to specify the domain name in every in very large domain and must contain at least two periods okay so all cookies are only valid for the host and domain which created them then these are all optional security if i want to use it for https i have to give one if it can be accessed in a regular uh, html then you can give just zero there now we'll see an example setting a cookie so here if you see that these are all the html codes and here we have start the php code set cookie then the variable name here variable name is name then value as in for that once it is set that the name will have the value this then age 20 so everything you have to give within codes so now when you run this program you will have uh, output like this now i just Run the program. Set cookie. Uh, I'll just open the file. Yes, if you see this same coding so when i run this program you'll see what happens uh, when it runs uh, it's just a setting cookie example that's all set cookie yes the cookie was set here we have given as the cookie was on. so that information is displayed now we'll see how to read a cookie so uh, we can read a cookie by using the global variable dollar underscore cookie just like what we have seen dollar get dollar post a uh, dollar global like that here we have to in order to read the cookie variable we can use the global variable dollar underscore cookie and you have to give the name of the cookie so here uh, now we check whether the value is set or not okay if so then we print the value uh, that is welcome back then uh, in the name cookie and then your age is uh, dollar cookie a dollar underscore cookie and age this is a variable name else if the value is not set then suppose uh, cookie value is not set then it says 
uh, new user. Now I just take you this uh, program. Read cookie. I'm reading the cookie. See here, it has read uh, from uh, from that variable. It has read and display both Radha and the age. Okay. Now we are going to see delete cookie. Before that, we'll see some theory. Okay. So this is what we have seen. Deleting a cookie. To delete a cookie, what you have to do is uh, the first will be the same set cookie you have to use. So set cookie, then you will give the name of the variable, cookie variable, and then you have to give the empty space. Open the quotes, immediately co close the closing quotes, which means you are assigning uh, empty value. That is that rather, rather and 20 is removed. So here expiry date we have to give. Expiry date, previous, uh, that is, you have to give it in negative. Negative 10, 10 means it will delete. If you add plus 10 means after 10 seconds only, the cookie will be removed. So if you give minus 10 while executing itself, those values will be removed. That is the meaning of that. So if you give uh, plus values, that will be, uh, stands for a second. So here, it will, uh, while executing itself, this will be uh, removed. The value will be removed. So now I'll show you something else here. Uh, in this program, set name we are setting and then we are making it to be valid till time plus time is current time plus 3600, which means one hour. How it is one hour? 60 seconds into 60 minutes. Okay, we'll give you because each minute will be second. This you have to express in terms of seconds. So for one minute, 60 seconds. So 60 into 60 minutes, which is nothing but 3600 seconds. Then this is in any any uh, uh, wherever folder it is stored. So you are giving the slash. And then here you give the, uh, here it is expiry. Last is the security. And I think this is, let's see what it is there. The general syntax is domain. Domain we are not giving anything local host only. So I'm not giving any domain. That's why it is empty. Okay, so empty and then zero. Zero is for normal execution, no HTTPS. So localhost is not HTTPS, so we are giving a zero. Now, what happens? This cookie is set while executing. This value is set and it will live up to one hour. After one hour, this will be automatically deleted. That's the meaning of this. Now, I want to set to cookie and I want that to live for that cookie to be stayed there for 30 days. Then how I can give current time plus 16 to 60. This is for one hour, then into 24 hours into 30 days. So this much, so this cookie message, the cookie is message and the value assigned to this, this will be set for 30 days. That will be assigned to this. So when you execute this, this cookie will live for 30 days. After that, it automatically will get deleted. Now, we'll see uh, del, uh, deletion, delta cookie. Where is del cookie? Yes, here. So this is the coding. We want it to, so here when I execute, at the time itself, it will delete. So. I would like to show you that after deletion, you have to read the cookie again. Then only you will understand whether it is deleted or not. Now we'll see, we'll execute this del cookie. So you have to read the cookie again. Then only you will understand that. So when you are trying to read, it has to give you the new user. That's what we have written in that. If it is not set, it's, it's set, it's not set. Then it has to give new user. Now we are executing the delete. Now the cookies are deleted. So after deletion, I wanted to read again the cookie. Now we'll see the same program. Hello, new user. Because the it has deleted. So when I try to read, so what is it in the reading? 
is two. See here, read cookie. In this, if the cookie value is set only uh, here, if it is set only, it will print the uh, whatever is stored. Else, it will give hello new user. Since we have deleted, it prints as hello new user. 